Oh, it's commentary time, kids! Grand finals, baby! Yo, we got grands? Hello? We got Nico and all for none. With such Which a means small bracket. We can answer that question you asked last semester. What's up? What's the Olimar versus God matchup? Olimar wins it. <laughs> I don't think the patch has changed anything. I think Olimar wins that really cleanly. I'm sorry. I don't know what you intend for me to say. Olimar wins that matchup. Yo, Nico? All for none? PS2? PS triple. Yeah, we need a yeah, we need a Pokemon Stadium 3. Yeah, so Nico, starting with the trademark Pikmin side, Avery going insanely deep for a clean 50 without taking any damage. Avery using the uh, old faithful forward air, forward air, air dodge back to stage. It works so well. Yeah. So I, I think something everybody needs to learn from Avery is it's okay to hold shield versus Olimar, at least at a distance. Like, don't up yeah. close. Zero to death? Hello? Oh my. Kind of fresh. Now, this is how you know it's grand final. That's how you know Avery's playing for blood. Yo, <laughs> whistles through it. Nice. Whoa. Yeah, so fun fact, Olimar's whistle has a couple frames of invincibility on it. Really? I could not tell you who designed that. I could not tell you why they designed that, but I can tell you it was designed. <laughs> It's how it be. Yeah, I mean, look, those frames help. Little frames of this ability can go a long way. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's not like it's easy to use. It's the same thing with, like, Lucas up smash armor. Right. You'll get it incidentally, but using it deliberately is pretty difficult. So, uh, full support, full respect to using it like that, because that's pretty sick. Yeah, all throw down is just clear. Going deep for it. Good lord. A very huge advantage right now. Nico really needs something to really turn it around. Like? That? There we go, that'll do, that'll do. Something like that, something like that. And so what's nice about that setup, I mean, quote unquote, setup. Uh, so first of all, ignore the setup, we're past that. Second <laughs> of all, he took 40 from a uh, single move. Because that's what you do with Olimar. Olimar's scary, man. That was <laughs> nice, the uh, the running Pikmin launch on the shield. Neat. Mm -hmm. Yo, hello? So the other interesting thing about the Pikmin that I think people kind of tend to overlook, people are like, oh, Pikmin do damage over time. Olimar does big damage. If you're in a combo with a Pikmin on you, your life is going to be what the kids call hell. <laughs> All right, so Avery's getting back into the corner a bit, but not without kind of getting his pound of flesh. He's not, he's not getting, like, pushed off or anything. This is more kind of just the general flow of things. Wow, come on, man. Going for the neutral B. Adios, Franz. Franz has left the building. Shout out to Franz. Shout out to Franz. All right. Nice call out on the counter. Yeah. I think he was trying to... Oh! Don't ever, ever roll past Avery. Ever. No. It's not worth it. Roy's too cool for that. Rule one. Do not roll past Roy. Rule two, Josh, get back to work. <laughs> Rule three, do not roll into Avery. That's true. Those are the See, three. that rule's so important, you have to say it twice. That's true. <laughs> All right, we got the color palette change. I don't, uh, I don't know. This palette with this stage, I think this is Roy favored. Nice, gets a solid grab off the bat. Good stuff. Down tilt, nice. Yeah, so Avery's very smart. He's just holding shield to make sure he doesn't take too much damage over time from the Pikmin. It's really important. A lot of people get flustered and trying to go full offense to kind of hit Olimar before he can get his Pikmin in. You gotta accept he's gonna get the Pikmin in. Right. You gotta respect when Pikmin are on you, because it changes how things work. Yoho, side B. Down smash. Sure you can. Sword you can. Whoa, I don't get it. It's a sword. I don't, I don't, I don't agree. I don't agree that Roy's using a sword. <laughs> side B, goes clean through, takes him out. Good old side B, never fails. Now if you'll notice, not a zero to death. So Nico is definitely much more in the running, as it were. Good tech on the platform to get out of that. Down smash, good stuff. Back to a functionally even game. I think one thing that fascinates me about how our good our good man is CK vertical slash all for none plays. The California Knights. Yeah. <laughs> so 
He is really good about minding. That's not dead. He's fine. <laughs> Bounces no. off the ledge. Whoa. Omar's a funny boy. That was pretty. That was pretty nice. That, that was, was pretty nice. That was pretty nice. So Avery is really good about seizing stage control. You'll notice if he ever gets up from ledge, like he'll attack you. But his first priority, going back to the center, very consistently. That did not have the knockback I expected from a fully, not a fully charged, but a charged Pikmin up smash. Down smash, I guess. Yup, just shields the Pikmin, going for a funny parry for some, not free, but cheap frame advantage. Nice stuttered side B, good stuff. Nice, nice. My phone died earlier and it's still dead. Oh, that's a shame. In case you were wondering, which I'm sure you weren't. Uh, what kind of phone do you use? I think I have a plug. I have an iPhone. Don't worry about it. Like. All right. Oh, nice dunk! Oh. Speaking of unplugged, Jesus, take Alf off life support. It's over, man. Unreal. All right, where are we going? Yeah, I follow. All right, all right. We got light blue Roy versus funny Alf. It's time. FD stands for Funny Destination. Parries the up smash, eats another one anyways. Funny Destination, hey, those movies have a different meaning now. That's true. All right, good punish. Oh, that was nice, very well done. Eats the Shoryu, but gets a lot of damage and stage control for his trouble. I would call that trade worth it. Going hog wild on these tilts. Nice. That did a lot of shield damage. I keep forgetting that move is like good. Yo, the downer. So the, so the hit stop from the move impacting the Pikmin kept him in place for a moment, which helped the down air connect. Very smart. And uh, knowing California Knights vertical slash all for none, fully intentional. <laughs> I don't even say that as a joke. Like, yeah, I, I believe he did that intentionally. Oh, close, close, close. No magnet hands for Roy. Brawl no more, buddy. Okay, okay. Nice, nice. Just spacing him out with the Pikmin. Space him out. Rack up damage. Mind your space. Uh, don't panic jump. Alphanon loves hitting people for their panic jumps. Nice. Go he did toss. a really good job uh, getting a lot of damage over time. Oh yeah. Damage over time. He's got that. He's got that damage over time. He, Bring it back, Avery's, boys. And Roy's got that damage right here, right now. Delivered to your door. It's not delivery. It's Roy with a gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, you'll notice though during that whole exchange, there weren't a ton of direct blows traded between Nico and All for None. It's a lot of just damage over time kicking in. Nice counter. Yo, wait for outside me? A man after my own heart. Nico needs a, needs a really Ooh, clean hit grab. to kill. Yeah, clean hit will do it. Most clean hits will do it. Yes! Like that one! Speak of the devil, and he will be yellow and strike you at high velocity <laughs> while thrown from a man wearing a helmet. Nice. Uh, not a one-stock game. Don't be fooled. This is not a one-stock game at Hofstra. That was a nice spot dodge. Good stuff. The bait jump, nice. Whistles through it. Love to see it. Yo, hello. Oh! All right, addendum to rule, don't roll, roll past Roy. Don't roll, comma, Roy. Don't roll in the presence of Roy. It's just not worth it. Whatever. Just don't do it. The amount of times we have seen people get bit by that is absolutely astounding. It's a, it's a pretty generously large F smash. It's sweet spot, frankly, a little bit obscene. Um, and all for none, he knows where to stand. He knows where to strike. Like, And, and gotta say, good job on uh, all for none for resetting the bracket. Yeah, so uh, it's time. It's time for the reset. Tr true finals. Because <gasps> I can't say finals? so I can't say the fun word anymore. You 
can't. Time for Funny Boy Finals. But if I use Sensor Squiggles... I understand. I got Dead Webber Web Finals. We're talking about the real finals. The real <laughs> deal. I'll tell you who's the real deal. It's Roy. He's a really good character. <laughs> I'll tell you who else is the real deal. Olimar. He's scary. Moral of the story is, Nico and Overrun, very scary players. Moral of the story, pick a character above mid-tier. <laughs> <laughs> That's just video games. Yeah. Yo, nice backer. Good reaction to getting that, like, slight knock, which actually hit him out of his own attack animation, so he could go back in for the back air. Good stuff. Wave bounce, neutral B to get him all off. It is such a potent move for uh, getting rid of Pikmin. Like, Lucas has down smash, but that's what the kids call committal. Oh, I, uh, I think... I think Nico low profiled that. Good throw. Not quite gonna kill. I don't think he had a blue on deck. Very strong, though. Nice up throw. Maybe it's a down throw. I really don't know. Lucas has poisoned my brain regarding what throws do what. That's okay. Yo, up smash. Nice. That was a really good string. Grabs him on the way down as well. So if you'll notice, a Pikmin didn't wasn't there for that F smash, so the move just didn't happen. Right. And Avery, or uh, Alfred, my apologies, doing a very good job of kind of keeping it so Nico either has a low Pikmin count or is always on the move such that his Pikmin aren't always readily available. Very strong gameplay plan. Because, um, I'm going to be honest, to contrast it with normal fighting games, Smash doesn't have a lot of set play characters. Characters that rely on setups and, like, an objective within the match other than hitting your opponent. But, you kind of got to have that set play component playing both as and against Olimar. You got to manage those resources. If you're Olimar, you got to mind them if you're not Olimar. Nice, good kill. Now, if you notice, both these characters equal distance from kill percent. Mm -hmm. That's a, kind of a joke, but also not at all. Ah! That almost killed him, actually. <laughs> the uh, the hit stop from striking the Pikmin kept the blade out. And it might have uh, almost hit him. Patience test on that. Nice. Good stuff. Playing it real safe right now. For Nico. Very, very safe. Tower fair. A cavalcade of Pikmin going out as he recovers. Gets another one on. All right, using that counter to tack on a little bit more damage. Good choice. Nice swat. I think Nico could take <gasps> this. Definitely think Very, possible. Very possible. Down smashes three times. Bro, you're not Game & Watch. <laughs> oh, nice. nice hit. Knocking this one All right, Nico. out of the park, as the kids say. That is what the kids say, by the way. That I, is what the kids say. I ran the numbers. It's all in the numbers. Yeah, I do handle this. Those numbers are accurate. It's all in the numbers. It's all in the numbers. All of them. He doesn't understand that it's all in the numbers. Shameful. Our town and city? Okay. More okay. like to silly and city. That was terrible. Uh, so am I. <laughs> no, oh. you're not. You're fine. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it's it. a wonderful man. I'm, I'm commentating oh my God. with. Thank you, Nomad. Thank you. Thank you. And he's dead. No. <laughs> but imagine. Oh, wait. No, no. I, I was, I'd like to retract my statement. I was actually not joking <laughs> when I said that. We are... Not 10 seconds in, we have a character at 69, and another man, same man, actually on fire. It Conor happens. McGregor, eat your heart out. This is how you do end the match quickly. Horrifying. <gasps> nice, fair. Good chase. Ooh, gotta mind the counter. That's what my parents told me when I was small and running around the kitchen at high speed. <laughs> I don't think they anticipated me hitting it uh, flying 32 miles per second across the sky while on fire and disappearing in an explosion. But, you know, oh, speaking of explosions, ah, out of there. Goodbye. Nice vertical dancing blade. F tilt. F tilt. No, fair. F tilt. Okay, maybe not. Thought up tilt, though. 
believe that was a grab. I know that was a grab. Good stuff. All right, so now he's kind of unleashing. This is like a World War One artillery battery of Pikmin. Familiar with Guilty Gear, this is a lot like a weirder, more predatory version of Maze Insta Kill. <laughs> oh, got him! Ooh, goes to down air. It's not a huge risk inherent in going into the down air, uh, but he uh, eats a lot for it regardless. Passing the shield, often known to just walk away. Conflict resolution. Boom! Speaking of resolution, wrap that stock up real quick. Yo, air dodge. Keep chucking Pikmin. Try to get scary. in. Try to get it. Nice! Good stuff. I know I'm supposed to say words, but this is scary. I think that was meant to be an up smash. Oh. Uh, I guess that was, yeah, very sour spot. That was a weird little movement. Yeah. I don't know if anyone saw him, like, glide a little bit. That was interesting. A little weird. A little bit. Yo, parries in the fair. Very nice. Misses the chase, tries to go for, a, I guess, a anticipation of the wrong option, but that's okay. Pop another mid-air Pikmin, but a lot of damage for it. Woo! The yeah, Dantic Blade was uh, nice, but he but he did hit him in the uh, dark body. If he hit, it, hit him with the C-Spot, that would have killed right there. Oh, yeah. Dang, where it's at. Stop that. Go deep for it. Nice. Good hit. Speaking of sweet spot. Speaking of dead. <laughs> Alright, I need my water bottle. I'll be back momentarily. I'm going to die over here. Alright. Alright, so 1-1 uh, one, one for uh, true finals. Four and on. Alright. Nice toss off the bat. Let's him a clean 2%. We have our competitor, BTW, out the door. Adios, brother. Alright, back to the game. Back to the game. Yo, we have Goliath admitting that Bacchus is the cooler Goliath. Horrible. <laughs> Yo, he's dead. Very clean. It's like, it's almost kind of graceful watching that jump back here. It's really clean looking. I believe that Alphanon goes for um, attack cancel back air there, which is pretty sweet. Goes to the neutral B, a little too eager. So neutral B has like zero end lag. Not can't same cannot be said for its startup. It's pretty slow on yeah, the uh, it's pretty slow like on that takeoff. Was, that wasn't a that was a good that wasn't a good call to actually try to do that. Yeah, I think he might have been anticipate <laughs> Nice dunk. Banked it all on it. Oh, oh. Good stuff. I thought he was gonna go for just another up smash. I was horrified. <gasps> nice. That was oh, that okay. was clean. That I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. Jab blocks are my favorite thing in this game. Yes. <gasps> Yo! Nice. Nico Very good stuff. Around. That was what the kids call pretty hot. Nico's playing out of his mind. He's going for these boulder plays and they're paying dividends. Yo, we're saying bye to Franz. Goodbye, oh, yeah. Franz. Yo, shout out to <gasps> Franz for being. D Yo, double miss tech, unreal. He went for the down air too. Chill, man. Oh my god. Okay, makes it back by the skin of his chinny chin chin. Double parry on the Pikmin? You're nuts, Avery. Try to bail out, bail out a counter. Oh my god, parry's the first hit, but he's out of there. Nice little wave land on the platform. I feel like we might see him bank it all on a, on a down air at some point. Nice catch, good hit. We are 2-1 Nico favor. This is... Dare I say, quite the grand finals. Definitely. It's a, it's a shame today's a little bit low attendance because this is a spectacular set. Oh, for sure. But you know, right before. Uh, I'm really hoping that the um, we may get a a bit uh, a bit of a bigger turnout next week. I'm sure we will. I mean, we're on the the dawn of a break. It's also Valentine's Day. Very true. And uh, once again, happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Woo!
enjoy watching Smash with your significant others happy, or by yourself. Happy, like me. happy main of top tier day. <laughs> 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 That's not today. I'm messing with y'all. That's every day. Uh, yeah, true. I say maining Lucas and Ness. <laughs> Yikes. Awkward. Anyways, don't mind me. Wow, way to subtweet yourself. Right? Good dash <laughs> attack. Wow, that's uh, much beefier than anticipated. I So I actually don't know if it's that the red Pikmin can't spike or it's just a very finicky um, sweet spot. Could be either. Functionally, I'm not sure it makes a huge difference. I mean, it clearly does, but also don't mind me. Whoa! So Pikmin 1 go up, clink, buys him time, and then he jumps up with the up air. Call that the escalator, because he's off the top, bro. I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was a crazy pillar call uh, combo as well. And you'll notice he didn't eat the typical 40 to 50. He actually took 60 something because he had a Pikmin on him that entire time. That two frame, you're nuts. Oh my. Nico, you're nuts. 69. He's got this. Nice. Nice. 79. Never mind. Eh, uh, washed. Oh, the desync on the platform. Come on, Nico, you're crazy. Bro, come on. That was Nico, so cool. cool. Nice. Good F smash. If there's a character and a player on campus to do this, dare I say it is CK all for none. The California Knight. I realize when I say that, it seems kind of mocking. Uh, if, you're, if you're listening, Avery, I hope you know I appreciate you as a person. I think you're wonderful, and I'm not intending to mock you at all. That also makes it sound worse trying to explain it. So just please trust that I have good faith when I say these things. Very nice. Yeah, uh, so it appears that Alphanone has flipped the Mars switch, which is also known as I've decided to stop getting hit for 30 seconds. <laughs> Dancing Blade? All right, no sweet spot. Bates out the counter. Not nice. enough, though. Yeah, reads the counter. Good stuff. Dancing Blade. Retaliation. Down smash. Down smash. No, up smash. Okay. Nice lobs. Good pressure at the ledge, keeping him in the corner. And he's out of there. Hey, hey remember when I said all for none could equalize this? Yeah. I didn't anticipate it happening that quickly. <laughs> <laughs> These players both play with such a strong, not dependence, because dependence is the wrong word. It implies they're not in control. But these are such momentum-based characters and players. Like just, oh, it's it swings around like a pendulum, but it's always one or the other. And what's, what's really good, at, what's really good about about these two is that, like I said, with the momentum, that they're they're always able to maintain control of the momentum. So they're they're able to shift it back in their control. Oh, absolutely. They play a, a very smart game that I think everybody could learn from. Ooh, wow! Close match. That nearly killed. <gasps> oh my god, Wait, the, the no. pick, was there not a Pikmin there? He only had one and it was on yeah, the other side. Only, yeah, he only had one. Oh my god. That, two, two. I, I can't, yeah, two, two. I can't say how much a Pikmin would have changed, but it certainly would have changed something, and that was horrifying. Oh, FD, snappy, easy. Locked in. They're ready to go. It's the final destination! Go! <laughs> Yo, godlike. Up smash, up smash, up smash. Yo, looking like Game & Watch out here. So I, I will say though, um, you hear it a lot in like Smash meme videos. You hear it a lot from Game & Watch mains, but everyone needs to learn from this. Sometimes you just gotta do it again. Yeah. If something worked, if it's good pressure, if it's keeping them in shield, if it's keeping them off stage, do it again. He's just gotta go on the angle and say, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Keeping him in the corner. Both of these characters are so conscious of stage control. They have a swear word off in the distance, horrifying. Nice poke. Nice poke. Got a curious look from Smash player Sheen over indicating the swear word. Nice, just kind of keep walking back. That's good. He's forcing uh, Alphernon to make the approaches. Very smart. Also, purple, purple, red. Oh, nice parry. Oh. Good stuff. Also terrifying. Good air dodge. 
Nice. Very snappy. The play two sucks games either on hot strike. That's not true. We're gonna have both players a stock short by four minutes. That's my solemn prediction. I'm also gonna be proven wrong. Nice dancing blade. Eats right through him. It definitely feels like part of any given character's matchup versus Olimar, and this is pretty obvious, I guess, yeah. uh, is determined by whether or not you have a really good tool for eating through Pikmin. And, of course, the player end is, can you apply it? So my prediction was wrong. A little over-eager. Gets hit by that football of a purple Pikmin. Jesus. Nice, yeah, he's just making him approach back up. Uh, and I'm yawning. Nice slap. Goes deep for the fair, makes it back. No issue, though. As they say in France, pas de problem. <gasps> nice grab sequence. That was awesome. Very nice. So, that I would almost compare that to like a tick throw in Street Fighter. That's That feels like that's almost exactly what happened. Yeah. Enough knockback to make it so you have to make an instant decision, and if you choose wrong, you're getting grabbed. It doesn't matter what you pick. That was really smart, actually. Really cool. Oh my god, that's a oh dead roll. Oh my gosh! Wow! And I believe those are the grand finals. We have Nico triumphing over all for none after the reset. Good stuff to both players. Chat, better start clapping. Well, the Nico. Very well done. Very well done. And with that. And with that. Nico wins the bag of candy I brought in from work. Nice. So that concludes Smash with Pride 63, the Valentine's Day special. Uh, insert joke here about how gamers will always be lonely. Just kidding, that's true. Hashtag someone please love me. Aw, oh, womp womp. Get us out of here. Please. End the stream. <laughs> Ralph, thank you. Signing off.